I don't know. I, I, I look forward to the day that I can unlock that fifth mythical 15th frame per second in Quake 2 RTX. I was, you can. 720p. <laughs> And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Finn Stone here at LGC Actual, switching the bits, doing the Nightmare Fuel all under Linux, in our nice little studio, and the uh, super hot Jordan song. Mm, up in Torontosville, and last but definitely not least, one Pedro Mateus. Hello. The Isles of Britannia, <laughs> staying up late, together with you, Shut Room Dynamic, helping us form Joking Voltron. <laughs> yes, thanks Thanks for subscribing, Pedro, like you're good like that. <laughs> Thank you, Salty. Uh, <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> Not to be outdone by Basil. He's, he's, back on his, he's back on his shit. Okay, so check this out. Fair warning, like extra, extra. This is legit, because I know I can be a little over paranoid, like things could go wrong, everyone. <laughs> High probability of things just going completely sideways this evening because I'm playing with the net jack two, got a new router, <laughs> we're tuning jack trip, so things could very well explode in the live stream. Sorry about that, and double sorry if I miss anything in post. Also, the sync might be off, but hey, we're still doing pretty good for an audio podcast, right? I mean, <laughs> just, just just pretend Ven is Godzilla and Pedro is King Kong, yeah, and I'm Ken Watanabe in the middle. <sighs> So <laughs> no Brian Cranston, I see. All right, he's he died in the last movie. <laughs> yeah, spoilers. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Something we learned in the pre pre super shows, and um, uh, some of you are watching or listening live and watching live. Some is that Jordan's ceiling can talk. It can. It's a magical <laughs> ceiling. It was telling me that someone on the twenty fifth floor tripped the sprinklers and then started beeping profusely. That was a weird experience. Where, where, where did your mind go? Because when I first heard that, I'm like, that doesn't sound like the monitor. True story. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Well, so I, I, I had a, I had a, I had a fire extinguisher that died a while ago. So I had to replace the battery on that. So that was my first thought was like, oh, I need to run across. That's just going to keep going until I run across the street and buy another like nine volt battery just to replace it. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I realized, oh, it's coming out of the other speaker for like the building PA. Mm. Uh, yeah. I don't think and I've I, ever I've, lived in a place with a PA. It's, I, it's pretty standard in most places in Canada. Even like the older buildings have like, it's really, really crappy. And it sounds like our boat is very slow and someone's talking through it. But like, that's, that's how they, they give like the fire and emergency orders. Like, don't use the elevators. Uh, I don't know. Anything else going on outside of that yeah. brief moment of excitement? Yeah, my D&D campaign's ending on Monday. I, I'm building the final boss fight. I might stream a little bit of that tomorrow so you can see how to put together a high-level Dungeons & Dragons encounter for 5th edition and right. try to make it interesting. So, give that a shot. How about you, Pedro? I... Well, over here, uh, nothing much has happened. I'm looking around to see, did I pick up anything? No, but uh, one of you, crazy, insane, lovely, beautiful people. Spoilers! <laughs> decided to get me um one of them uh road pro uh procaster microphones i keep wanting to call it procaster but uh no no uh seriously uh if it was you thank you very much uh it didn't come with a note so thank you thank you very much <laughs> All right, that's it. That's the thing. Let's get into it. You need to fan the horse off because it's probably a little warm, too. It is. Temperature is rising. The horse is getting extra gelatinous. It's starting to grow the fuzz on top of it, and that's starting to stink, which means it's time for the Steam Linux Update of the Week. Glorious. Yeah, there's a there's a new version of Glorious Egg Roll out, uh, Proton GE, and it's less of a shit show than uh, 6.4. There's stuff that's working now. Uh, Trials of Mana, Devil May Cry 5, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, 7, Days Long Gone, Borderlands 3, Marcus, and Resident Evil 2 and 3 are now back and up and running on Proton GE. Ooh, still um, some broken stuff, though, man. Yeah, there's still there's still a little bit of broken stuff. They're trying. They're really trying to nail this MF plot stuff, and so things are getting a little fucky. Yeah. Uh, so Red Dead, Red Dead 
Dead 2, GTA 5, those engine games are still not working too well. Same with Catherine, uh, Darksiders War Master Edition. And one of my favorite JRPGs, Grandia and Grandia 2 Re- Remaster HD, still busted. And it's equally busted on the Switch because it'll just crash right after a boss fight and then I have to fight the boss again. I'm just like, no, I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Back in the dock with Wasn't you. there supposed to be like a Nintendo QA type of situation happening on the nope. Switch? <laughs> Suppo- <laughs> what, what, what? You, what? You think Nintendo actually practices Dude, what they preach? I, Get out of here with this amateur hour bullshit. Come on. We, we've seen enough games that developers have said us and like that got on the Switch. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> See, uh, for Sony, uh, after Life of Black Tiger and all the other ones, I kind of expect that. But Nintendo, all right. But yeah, the, the what um, what I noticed was, uh, yeah, uh, Red Dead Redemption Two, Grand Theft Horse Two, uh, works, and uh, Borderlands Three has been fixed. Thank you. I can actually uh, go back and try to play it properly this time. I don't know, man. Yeah, uh, Red Dead Redemption. Some of these things are like they were working, and they weren't working, but I'm glad that eventually I will play Red Dead Redemption 2. That looks like one of those games that, again, I'm just going to power my way through it, but it's going to be a fun like 20 hours or 30 hours. Oh, oh yeah. It's like definitely uh, Skyrim level and the, yeah. the level of shit that you can do. The other thing that got added in is a bunch of open XR patches. So if you're trying to play some VR stuff on your Linux, you kind of, you're kind of stuck using Proton. So mm. Well, I got news, everyone. None of that unofficial Proton, that glorious egg roll stuff. Nay, let's talk about the official business straight out of the valve itself, man. A couple of new things in this. The biggest thing in all of this is now um, Rise of the Triad. Kind of works. I mean, it does work. I streamed a little (laughs) bit of it last night. A bunch of updates. One thing I did notice was, um, where was it? Oh yeah, Bioshock Remastered apparently has been broken at some point. First thing I played when um, Proton was released with DXVK, and like, hey, that's neat. Went all the way through it, didn't have any problems. We got a DXVK bomb, the original or the remastered? Remastered. Mm. And uh, some mono updates. Anything in here that uh, really caught you? Uh, Because the um, the rebase to uh, Wine Six Point Three is very, very welcome. But uh, it's the ex- previously an experimental bits down at the bottom that uh, got to me. Specifically, the non-English layouts. Uh, those improvements are now mainstream. Thank you. Uh, the yeah, all the updates to the XVK VK three D F audio Wine Mono up to version six one one, and um, yeah, no, the list of games is not too shabby either. It's nice to see that like some some GE exclusive games are starting to make their way over to Proton supported. Like yeah, I was, I've been playing uh, Divinity Original Sin two for a while, uh, mm-hmm. and that only was working on uh, GE for the longest time. So it's good to see that it's uh, that they're getting these patches in. It's good to see that the GE project is actually mm-hmm. accomplishing what it's setting out to do, trying to get ahead of some of the other problems that will be introduced in mm-hmm. uh, Proton. Do you think any of these games currently supported with Proton are in danger of having their keys revoked? <laughs> uh, a lot of these are pretty old, so I don't think so. Maybe maybe if you're an Overfall fan, uh, you might be in for a bit of a rude awakening. Yeah, so apparently there was a bit of a snafu last week. Uh, the developers of Overfall uh, decided, yeah, uh, all the keys that we gave out to like all of these... Um, like key reseller sites. A I love the them- edit, Jordan. I love it. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, but we're not talking about fanatical. Oh, fanatical. Calm the right. fuck down. All right. <laughs> F- fan- fanatical is okay, but everything else. Uh, yeah. A bunch of, a bunch of these, uh, these uh, overfall keys that they originally put out for like key resellers, uh, just started showing up on, on uh, less reputable sites, uh, pirated key sites, et cetera, et cetera. The overfall devs are like, un- un- I would say understandably they're like, yeah, we don't want people, you know, stealing money from us because we've, we've gone in depth on how key, key theft actually impacts the developers because they end up having to pay mm-hmm. for credit card fraud. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're like, you know what? All these keys disabled, whatever. If you want to, you, if you bought it through Steam, great on you. Um, so yeah, the, the people who bought it from Fanatical were uh, understandably upset. Fanatical is one of the more reputable of the gray market sellers. Um mm-hmm. So yeah, and I can, and there there was understandably backlash, and I, I can understand why as well. You wake up and like the game you just bought is out of your library. Uh, let this be a lesson about the perils of digital ownership. This is why you want the DRM free copy. 
Yeah, and also uh, do a little bit of research because if you see a publisher that walks up to you, it's like, oh, that's a nice game you got there. It would be a shame if something was to happen to it and it got buried and no one would ever see it. Yeah, apparently they had a publisher that requested 30,000 keys from them and then they didn't see a single cent out of those 30,000 keys. So, of course, they just canned them all. I would have <laughs> in their situation. I would have. <laughs> I do think um, there needs to be better tools for developers to track key blocks when you send them out, mm-hmm. because that is something we've heard time and time and time again. Like I just had to nuke this entire chunk because I was just giving it out to this bundle, this bundle, this bundle. And I don't right, know who's you, you, is you, where. You don't know. Mm-hmm. Right. So, I, I don't imagine like the keys are easily sortable too. You can't just be like sort by. Uh, yeah. It's clearly yeah. something that Valve it would probably help everybody out if they like clean that up. Also, get payment up front mm-hmm. or partial mm-hmm. or something. Make sure they're they're capable of giving you some money. I know it's like everyone they're going to go and be like, "Hey, you will get X amount from whatever it sells." If it, if it's yeah, not but uh, if you have companies like as much as it pains me to use them in a good light, Epic, who will pay you an entire year's worth of sales that you may or may not get on their store mm, yeah no you can take some money up front please <laughs> yeah i i, I mean at, the, at this point there's already like an established group of good actors like humble like fanatical um that you can probably feel confident doing business with everything else is kind of a calculated risk right you never know especially if you're dealing with a less than known quantity there can be danger <laughs> Hey, I got good news. A uh, game I really like that we threw the chairs at recently. Celeste has a brand new version out. Look at that, Pedro. Controller rebinding. Mm, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Additional screen shake setting 50%, which is now the default. Oh, that's nice. That's hot. I'm down with it. And crouched at a bunch of the stuff. I'm going to be honest with you. It It's stuff like move move the bottom kill screen zone down four pixels right this is speed right. running po- stuff man oh yeah yeah no po- the pause po- buffering one. like the whole pause buffering thing it's oh you can't do the pause buffer anymore to um queue up commands and uh skip around yeah. some of the uh yeah some the, of the limitations the, the, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of the stuff really only matters if like you're if you have like 0.01 seconds at stake but also, yeah. like, you know, Celeste being one of the most widely speed ran games out there, and given how optimized, like, most runs are now, that point zero one of a second probably matters to someone. I didn't even know about this, man. They uh, fixed next snake crash when moving oh, the nice. uh, game between monitors. Huh. Mm. All right. That's neat. Various Pico 8 Celeste stimulation bugs. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Right like on. the Pico 8 version that you can yeah. play in the game. <laughs> right on. I'm down with that. Uh <laughs> I, I really like this game. The one thing I'll put on in the background is um like um, awesome games, you know, GDQ and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And when I hear the uh, Celeste, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go watch that because <laughs> it just covers me in delightful shame. I'm like, what are you? Do- <laughs> these, these people, if I didn't know, because I don't know a lot about speed running, but like they look like task bots doing Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah what, what's great is like the ones who can just like have the fucking conversation while doing the world yes. speed runs yes. like they, they, they just have like that part of their brain just completely compartmentalized Dude. yeah it's just muscle memory at that point it's like hey, this is what I'm doing and now I'm doing this and oh I fucked up <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and then they're like cracking jokes and like, oh yeah this works like 0. 0%, 0. 0.05% of the time and I just pulled that off That's right. nice. mm-hmm. hey uh <laughs> That game, what was that, last year, year before last, that decided to use the Build 3 engine? They're like, hey, that, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, e- E-Duke. <laughs> and then uh, they got sort of kind of threatened by a certain band of very old people that's like, nah, sorry, your name is too close. Didn't know that Iron Maiden had made a video game, but uh, here we are. <laughs> the, yeah, Ed, Ed Hunter. And it, it wasn't Iron Maiden. It was their management, but whatever. I'm not, I'm, yeah. I'm not here to defend Iron Maiden. The, those guys are yeah. rich enough. They can defend themselves. Well, it's called Iron Fury now. We did throw chairs at it as well. And there's a bit of an expansion going on, Aftershock, which just continues the story on from uh, where it kind of left off. Uh, basically, Final Boss Man is not dead, so... 
Yeah, you gotta chase final boss man once again. Shelly and now there's back. vehicular I just, I just combat, of, uh, which is of very what's nice. Name sister from South Park. Shelly, Shelly, <laughs> God damn it! I'm out of period. I'm out of. I'm out of tampons. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, not Stan's sister, but uh, the uh, general characterization seems to be very much on par. But yeah, no, vehicular combat alone. Duke Nukem came out in 1996, so eight-year-old me would have been all over that shit. But uh, yeah, it also introduces the arrange mode, which basically goes back through the original campaign and adds all of the new enemies, the new weapons, couple of new uh, bits of content here and there but yeah no that's very nice to have um i was down <laughs> with it you know i like playing the game but it genuinely after the nostalgia wore off and it was kind of quick i, was, I genuinely <laughs> i felt like i was playing a duke 3d mod like, uh, and i spent an <laughs> ordinate amount of time when duke 3d was up because they released a level editor with it but it was really well documented and you could do shit in that that you just couldn't do in doom so i mean i had like printer printouts man I'm like notes yeah, I'm like oh so but it was fun enough yeah that's kind of like the peril with the retro shooter is unless like that's really your jam you play them and this like i've played this game before i played 100 games like this already so unless, <laughs> unless you're really really hungry for more of that uh but you know seeing them add some stuff that's all right that's enough retro nonsense. Quake 2 RTX change <laughs> uh, Yes. You got to check this out. They've done stuff. Really? I just want to give it a mention because they're still um, updating it. Good on you, Microsoft. Uh, they've added support for ray tracing <laughs> using the VK cage or ray query. Just a bunch of like, I, I launched it. It didn't run any faster on my 2060, but it's like, oh, okay, that, that's pretty. But, oh, they've improved logging around SLI initialization because that that that's what was not holding me back. Well, I, I mean, Vulcan actually like oh, yeah. supports doing that stuff a lot better than like the normal OpenGL NVIDIA drivers. It's, I don't know. I, I I look forward to the day that I can unlock that fifth mythical 15th frame per second <laughs> in Quake 2 RTX. I was, you can. 720p. <laughs> at 720p. That's always what I wanted to test. I put it at 1080 just default out of the box settings on the 2060 non super no cape on it whatsoever and it was to like 43 45 I'm like that's pretty however i i do want to bring this up i want to bring this up whoever is responsible because that thing you did in the last update that let it you know start in the correct monitor without the uh sdl1 flashbacks of everything going blank i'm like oh no you broke that you broke that with this update because everything was started flashing between the three monitors and it showed up over here. <laughs> and then what, what I managed to get it to close, there, there's nothing sexier than a 43 inch monitor at 720. No, no, eight by it was lower than 720. It, it, 800 by 600. It, it was gnarly, man. Because 640 by 480. I saw it and just by the pixels, I, was, I giggled a little bit. It's like, huh, okay. This is, it's, it's, it's some serpent of the Stagland shit. Like, it hey, was. you want a 320 by, <laughs> at least by 120 that window? had the decency of sorting out in a window. I TD microscopic ass window. But I don't know exactly what there was. I had to scroll down three times on the virtual desktop to get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, that's always fun. It's like, okay, now we take the long trip over. Yep. <laughs> Okay, oh uh, something that can do 60 FPS, though. Yes, uh, technically still an alpha, but uh, yes, we're going back to the 90s once again. Uh, Avengers, which uh, we've also thrown chairs at. Uh, it was a long time ago, but we did. And it, it does have an analytics version, and it is still the original developers working on it. And they have the source code. They still have the source code, so to everyone out there, your Square Enixes and your other big multi-billion dollar publishers, uh, fuck you. Fuck you hey, and man. your fucking excuses. Yeah, uh, not just a butt face. Listen, <laughs> dude, I, to be fair, if this was the only thing you ever made, you probably got a copy of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, the game itself oh. is completely 
batshit crazy. You drive a very a uh, unrealistic, gun. yeah, a very unrealistic car or helicopter. Basically, the vehicles are completely nuts. Uh, but yeah. If you wanted, if you ever wanted to play it at sixty FPS, because it, the game ran at twenty, mm-hmm. no matter how powerful hardware you had, twenty is all RTX you were getting. on, baby. <laughs> and um, uh, anything higher than eight hundred by six hundred, which was the resolution that it ran at, uh, yeah, you can now. There's an alpha build. You have to type in Turbo Spiral NAA uh, in the betas. I get it. Yes, I don't it, get it. it. Not even. Isn't it a a y a y a y a y a y i i i i i i? No, it's not i i i. It's Turbo Spiral N A A. Okay. And uh, Turbo Spiral Nah. Okay, check uh, this out. Check this out. Am I alone? Okay, what a operating system? What console was this originally released on? Genesis, Mega Drive. PC. It, it, it wasn't was a, console. It was PC. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and I and I mean, like, it's a twenty-three-year-old game. It's old enough to have graduated college. Mm-hmm. So now that we've cleared that up, that this was originally intended for PC. I started up now. When it comes to resolution, you can move to like ten twenty-four by seven sixty-eight. You know, I'm like okay, that's it. That's option B. <laughs> but um. I spent a solid minute and a half, maybe two minutes in the uh, menu trying to get in game. And it's like, I, I, you win. <laughs> There's, <laughs> you got a mouse over it. it it's all very green. <laughs> my my you're, you're- first thought, my first thought is, which it's been a couple of years since we've played this, uh, was you were properly fucked if you're colorblind. Mm-hmm. Probably, yeah. Gone. Completely. None. You cannot. No <laughs> I, I, I wonder if maybe that, that's an improvement for later. Avengers team, go out of colorblind mode for folks. No, no, you they need they need a spoon mode. <laughs> oh man. Why a spoon? Because it's dull, you idiot. It'll hurt more. Yeah, so payday two. You know, that game that downloads 500 gigs to your computer periodically once yeah. a week or so. Um, they have a they have a new update. Uh, they have uh, they have an event for the spoon. The spoon. Yeah. Um, they've introduced the big spoon. They have an event going where if collectively all players murder five million NPCs with a spoon, anyone killed over a hundred gets a golden spoon. Uh, and after the event, if you kill a hundred people with the spoon, you too can get a golden spoon. Hashtag two scoops. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it's it's just more collectible stuff. Payday has a lot of, like, oh, special event weapon thing that you can use for the one time. You better you better use that fear of missing out to go, you know, subscribe to our Steam group so that we can spam you with tournaments every week. I don't know. It's, it's a fun <laughs> enough game, but everything else around the game, the infrastructure is just kind of bad. Um, well, it's an older game, too, man. This is from 2013, man. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yes, uh, they were far more interested in selling you uh, DRM than actually having people play the game. Now, um, we <laughs> should go ahead and point this out, though, because the company was. Because it, it got all like DLC and. It, mm-hmm. but Yeah, I remember the top button and the bottom button on the main menu mm-hmm. were to sell you DLC. Yeah. It, Not to quit or to start a game. It DLC, remi- DLC. <laughs> it reminded you of opening up your ubiquity router. Yes, uh, but a different company owns them now. Uh, and since then, they've kind of swapped it out. Like, hey, let's just see. If- and there are tons of people playing the game. I think it's a fun enough game. It's cheap. It's like nine bucks. And hey, they got a sense of humor, right? Yeah, I mean, if you if you got 160 Canadian, you can buy all the DLC. Mm-hmm. How much is it? <laughs> 160 Canadian, so about a hundred bucks. <laughs> I'm looking. Oh, 142. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, the dollar rate's not going to die. We're closer to parity again. <laughs> man, man, remember that wonderful time in 2009 when I could just buy stuff for cheap in Canada, dude? Oh man, I, I, I wanted to get closer because then it's like almost doesn't like resemble setting money on fire to send you stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude. Okay, that's going to do that. Yeah. All right. Yes. Well, coming up next, you guys who insist on running Windows and Linux at the same time finally have a bone get thrown at you by NVIDIA. I hope you enjoy it. Mm-hmm. And wouldn't you do it? It's about time we left the horse and we just hopped on the regular 
Linuxy gaming news without what, Steam being what, necessarily involved. What what animal what animal is the regular news? I've been curious I, about this. It's a moo cow. It's a moo cow. I don't know. <laughs> it's like a regular cow, right. but it's no. it's 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 the moose, the Jason moose, <laughs> the extra the moose. moose. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, I, I don't I don't have a snappy transition to to transition to shilling. So head on over to patreoncom slash Linux Game Pat, Cat, Pat, Pat, Cat. Linux Game Cast. Give us some money. Um, get some cool you, shit in you, return. Yeah, absolutely. You get access to our Discord channel. You can get access to the show notes, the pre pre super shows, which is an extra hour of content. You can even get access to a live stream. You can join us and like talk during the pre pre super shows. You can. Or you can accidentally forget that you're setting up a new box and like send us some like sweet keyboard typing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Usually everyone's like dead silent, and we saw um, somebody. Yeah. It was like, oh, let's creep on them. Let's connect that. <laughs> Man, I, I just, I just want to get into it because we got a we got a long list of people we got to thank this week. Yeah, we do. It's but been, we also it, need to it, plug it, a couple of things real quick. Uh, we got merch. We got things you can put which, on your body, which is hot. Maybe not. Possibly, whatever, you know, it's summertime's coming up. Great time to get a hoodie. That'll be kind of brilliant. Now. Yes. Now we we, we gotta think. Ha, deep breath. <laughs> uh oh Megas, we got a brand new Patreon as well as AJD, AJ, Ajid, whatever. Um we gotta thank John D for the RB four eleven, four oh eleven, which is something, I assume. That's uh, Ven's uh new uh He's doing the abridged version. Let's noodles. go ahead and roll this up. <laughs> Omegas yeah. joined us at advisor level. All right, we're Ooh. all right. What did what did AJ join us at? Regular level. I don't know. Regular level. Uh, <laughs> no. Pedro, you got you got level. a podcast from a mysterious stranger. Yes, I got the uh, the road uh, procaster here, and uh, thank you very much, mysterious stranger. I went through both of the packages that contained the XLR cables and the microphone. There was no note. So, thank you, whoever you are, mysterious stranger. I very much appreciate it. <laughs> I, I, I gotta thank Aldius because he apparently predicted that my building would be on fire and sent me a fan. Mm. <laughs> Kindling. Yeah. I want to know. The, I, I'm more curious as to why cards. you had like 30 SD cards. <laughs> well, I figured like I, I need one for it. I need a new one for a tablet. I need one for a digital camera. I need one for a phone, blah, blah, blah. I just threw a bunch of them on the wish list because like, why not? Uh, and Aldius hit me up. He's like, hey, do you need a camera or do you need SD cards? And I'm like, uh, and next thing I know, I got sent a bunch of SD cards. That's my story. Dude, we, we should <laughs> just get like a couple with the uh, Wi-Fi and we set up like a mesh network. Yeah. <laughs> oh, SD card over Wi-Fi. I'm, I'm yes. down. I have an SD card with Wi-Fi. Do you have a Wi-Fi router that you can plug in an SD card to? No, it just connects. You can just uh, connect over regular Wi-Fi, like you know, regular Wi-Fi. You can log into it. How, is is the screen like really tiny on the SD card to like punch in the? the no, it's password? just for transferring <laughs> stuff wirelessly. These things have been around for like a decade. This is not Moon technology. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> All right, so yeah, the router board forty eleven showed up. I got a nice little gift, and uh, we are currently using it um, to replace the thirty eleven that was in the studio. So we can have a solid ten gig link between that and the ten gig switch, and that is brilliant. I need to thank John, Ooh. and I, I sent I sent John. We're going with John right now. Um, a message. I'm like, hey, do you, do you want you know John or like Balmer Smasher nine thousand or something like that. Before before I etch it into the easily erasable um, board glass, there. yeah, plexiglass, <laughs> um, real glass. But oh, all right. Here's Ooh. the thing: is here, here's the thing. Like erasing off that is just like a smear, and it takes like twenty minutes to get everything. So I'm yeah, just you double checking up the Windex. Yeah, you get until Wednesday, man, and uh, we'll put anything that you want on there because you helped us set up some stuff for the studio, and I can absolutely. Fuck that router up at three times the speed of the 3011. It, it's Indeed. kind of amazing how quick I can get in there and uh, blow everything up. But it's letting yeah, us if, do if, this. Look, like right now, I'm able to mm-hmm. tag, prioritize, um, specialized UDP stuff, and we're able to use Jack Trip. And yeah, the better I get with it, unintentionally learning basic networking skills, you know. Indeed. 
And, you know, if you if you want to help us out, we have Amazon wish lists. They're available under the support tab of LinuxGameCast.com. You can check that out. Uh, if you send us some stuff, you can send us a note alongside, which no no one did. No one made us read yeah, dumb, stupid shit. And I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> so people who are buying off our wish lists, get creative. I know you're I, actually, I'm not, I'm not going to make any assumptions about you. You might be dull as dishwater. I don't care. I still love you. <laughs> <laughs> you're amazing. Whoever you are who got me this amazing microphone. You're amazing. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> All right. We got to get we got to get into regular news now. Uh, we got some brand new Nvidia drivers for your consumption for 651901. That is a beta driver. And yeah, there's nothing really crazy sexy in this release. Uh they added three new Chronos Vulcan extensions and some better uh power management stuff if you are uh, using systemd so that's probably useful if you're using a laptop so that's that's good I guess there's a couple bug fixes here that are um, again not really game related just like making sure that the driver works mm -hmm. all in all pretty boring but you know you might want to update it to it update it to or update to it it might fix something unlisted it's possible this is true the yeah. only thing I can report is I downloaded and built them on Debian 11 ish and no problems, nothing fun to report. They work good. Yeah, I went through the change log. It's like, huh, that that that's a lot of like old stuff that they're updating and fixing a couple of like suspend and sleep issues on Linux. It, eh, that that's nice. It's kind of hard to find bugs when uh, most people are flipping your GPUs for cash rather than using them, isn't it, Nvidia? Or okay. or or using them for mining. <laughs> I, I want to get this out of my system, man. New egg. <laughs> Bruh. Um, I, I got excited. I finally caught one of the opportunities to enter the raffle for a chance to give new eggs somebody for a video card that you know, like, hey, we're doing it for the gamers and all that. It's wonderful. We're keeping away scalpers, and bots, and like, okay, that's neat. That's great. Oh, you got a 3060. Yay, I'm dying for 3060, 12 gig. I love it. I went there, Newegg. I went to your web zone and I got the thing and I'm like, okay. Oh, look, you have a 3060 for $550, which is more, <laughs> more than the 3070. <laughs> Get <I'm> wrecked. <laughs> How much is the 3070 going for out of curiosity? I, they didn't even have one available. <laughs> the, if, you, if you gotta ask, you can't afford it. That's, yeah, no, the MSRP was 500, uh, but uh, yeah, on eBay, they go from 1200 and up <laughs> i didn't I, I i went through that entire my, my my emotion just can't handle all that in such a short like oh final no i'm not i refuse no flat out refused even <laughs> even to enter for a chance to give you 500 dollars for 3060 i'll no. wait what about for 370 370 yeah i would cut him right then all right yeah boom 370 yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're gonna you're gonna pass on through that no i'm not no but nvidia is no. gonna let you baby because this was kind of out of left field everyone it was we got the gpu pass through for windows vms now this is not the beta on linux and what just happened there Ta -da. Uh, accidentally closed the tab <laughs> right <laughs> that tab went kaput oopsie poodle <laughs> o o oopsie poodle yeah but but yeah they're they're enabling you to pass through geforce cards if uh for one uh for one virtual machine if you want more than one vm you're gonna need to buy a quadro because that's been the entire shtick they've been trying to get you to spend more money on to virtualize your gpus but they realize <laughs> that like hey these gamers are trying to like play video games on their computer uh, to me reading through this this is a this is very much a hey stop poking at our fucking drivers concession here we'll let you do this please stop trying to break our stuff which uh, make it make of that what you will but that's that's what i read from this so i don't know exactly what, you know it's important to point out to order in order just to even think about toying with this you need two video cards and which yes. is a great time you know you got nvidia cards lying around man um, maybe well, if you, you got five hundred dollars, you do. <laughs> no, no, no. If you if you have five hundred dollars, you have the chance to get selected. Fair, fair. Mm -hmm. If you have if you have eight hundred dollars, then you do. Maybe. Well, it, it works if you have an Intel processor or an AMD processor with built-in graphics. You can just plug the monitor in directly to the motherboard and pass the dedicated GPU off. 
to the VM. Yeah, but then you feel I like sp- a peasant using in- integrated <laughs> graphics. I, I mean, I suppose you also need another screen, but like, I'm like, who doesn't have a second screen? I guess lots of people don't, but yeah, it but seems so. Most people just have the one at home. Maybe they'll have two at work. So, but- like, at the end of the day, I mean, how they're spinning this is, you know, this is for customers wanting to run a Linux host and launch Windows and VM. We get that. But the next thing they say is game developers wanting to test code on both Windows and Linux on one machine. I okay. They could <laughs> yeah. or, or if, they, if you're, if you're some on physical switching of cables, but you can. Do you, do you think that <laughs> like helps reduce the friction? Because more than once we've seen people um, on Steam, at least we should say, uh, whose uh, Linux testing was bad. It, it hit the export. No, I never. No, I never bothered to test it on Linux, but I was selling it. I, I mean, may, maybe if this is also allowing like uh, Windows VM to also pass through a single GPU to like a Linux host, but I don't mm. think that's I, uh, I don't think that's currently the, the way, case. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that, that's what I'm saying. Like that would be the that would be the scenario right yeah, now. That's not the, what's being the, you're a developer. You're working in Windows, and it's like okay, I'll just pull up a Linux uh, VM and pass through the NVIDIA card to said Linux VM. I can I can yeah. see this being useful for like Project Heartbeat maybe if they need to if they need to test on a Windows machine. I think properly set up and configured, you have their hardware and everything for it. It would be the best of both worlds solution. But I don't, I don't think anybody's going to actively be going out and like, hey, finally. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, I mean, VFIO Linux has underscore always been niche. Yeah. <laughs> Lin, I mean, Linux underscore gaming begs to differ, but okay. I mean, whatever. <laughs> That's fine. So Pedro, I. I, I, I gotta get just give credit where credit is due. Uh, yes. So Goodell had a bit of a uh, April Fool's thing. Uh, they decided, you know what? We're going to, after months of internal debate, we've uh, decided to change the name of the engine to Gadet. And I read through it and I'm like, okay, uh huh. <laughs> yeah. And then I got to the end. It's like, there's more changes coming. It's like, and I, I need to read this bit. Also, in order to make the engine more commercially appealing, we are evaluating other changes, such as moving the engine to a premium shared revenue model, increasing the download size to a few gigabytes, and making any kind of help or support paid. A bright future is coming for our shareholder. <clears throat> community uh we hope to be able to tell you more very soon probably on april the 2nd since it's now april the 1st mm-hmm. yeah so that 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 was very much I a mean, <laughs> valid point i mean if you were afraid of clowns <laughs> yeah see, I, I mean the, the, I, I, I suppose things, like, that's between that and like yeah we picked the new mascot because we were locked up inside watching a bunch of anime i'm like who, who bought this at any point I, so I, I don't know. For me, it's it's not that. It's just like a shitty, ill-conceived joke, right? Like, because what 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 is the joke here? Oh, that that the Godot character is a girl now, but now they're not. I don't know. I can't be too mad at it because they. they if you read the blog post, they put an apology. Like some sometimes jokes miss. I get it. I tell a lot of jokes, and a lot of them are in poor taste. And you know, if I if I if I am causing people like actual harm, I do apologize. But it's all in good fun. Um. But yeah, like I, I could, this is a little tone deaf. I think Pedro, you put it right in the in the uh, pre pre super. It is it's, in twenty twenty one pulling this. Oh look, we're gender swapping our um our character, our mascot. The, you mean whatever. like the cyborg robot? <laughs> I I I mean that's that's in twenty twenty one. That's a touchy subject to say the least. It, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't know. Bad jokes are bad jokes. They apologized. I'm, I'm cool with them. Um, yeah, yeah. And I, clearly, I, 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 it pissed enough people off that they had to. It's like, okay, we get it. Sorry, apologize for the yeah, oversight. And, <laughs> and and I mean, like reading, reading, reading through the Twitter comments afterwards, I'm like, okay, yeah, this like this was clearly pretty well intentioned, and it missed its mark. And yeah, just. Just joke, don't joke hey, about transphobia, hey, hey, man. You. Don't don't do it. They were joking about that in there. Yeah, that's that's it the rest of the, the joke. D- gender politics. Yes, that was part, very much a part of it. <laughs> I get it. Uh, again, I get. It. I totally get why they were trying to do that. It's like eh, poking fun at something that they don't see as being a bit of 
big problem, but that is a big problem for a lot of people. So yeah, yeah. maybe not that. It's, a, it's, it's a bit of a sensitive subject. <laughs> Look at the bright side. The internet forgets about it in three days. Max. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, like, my, honestly, my concern is like they're not doing any sort of like J.K. Rowling s frothing at the mouth transphobia. It was just a bad joke. Do do better next time, Godot. That, that's really it. Moving faster and faster. <sighs> Indeed, to flax. You know, sometimes when I need to move faster, I eat some flax. <laughs> flax but this is a different. <laughs> this is this is a different type of flax. This is the flax engine. Uh, they have a new release out, one dot one, uh, and it runs on Linux now. That's kind of one of the big uh, one of the big features is they have a functioning editor for Linux. It does. It does run. I downloaded it. If you are on Fedora, you have to relink uh, libcurl uh, so.4 to libcurl gnu tls so.4 because this is probably built on Ubuntu and that's what the library is named there. But yeah, once you do that, it runs out of the box. Yep. Yeah. So <laughs> one, one, I mean, once you do that, it runs out of the box. It's not doing any sort of gnu tls specific OpenSSL stuff. But like, yeah, uh, they they have a new thing. They've added spline support uh, or improved spline support. Some low level uh, networking, visual scripting stuff. And uh, they give you a couple examples for like uh, a third person shooter. The The whole point of the, the Flax engine is it's supposed to be like very lightweight to work with. You're supposed to be able to get like a full build up build environment up in like five minutes. And to its credit, I was able to do that. Yep. So maybe maybe <laughs> give it a look if you're looking for a uh, it's not open the, source, though, I don't believe. No, uh, the one complaint that I do have about it is I. I didn't open it on the uh, UHD monitor. I just opened it on the 2560 by 1440. Mm -hmm. And I had to lean in because it's like, that is minuscule. (laughs) And then I went to the options like, is there a scale option? Oh, there is. Close the thing, that's open it back nice. up. That's still minuscule. Like, oh no! You you oh, scaling is for people who give up too easily. You just gotta like plant your face right in front of the monitor and scan it line by line yeah, like no. an artifacts Monday game. Proper squinto vision on that one. How about like a legitimate question? What games have been made using this engine? I'm. I think it's a little too new to have like okay. anything actually released. But hey, it's a better love story than the uh, lot that we're targeting Le- also director. No, all, uh, that launches. Oh, yeah. It doesn't immediately segful. <laughs> ah, <Yeah. fair. laughs> that, that, that's one nice thing you can say about Ludworks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Has that going for it. So if you like racing wheels, man, we got some good news for you. Because there's a new version of Oversteer out, and basically they've just added a bunch of new steering wheels like the Thrustmaster T3000 RS, Fantech CSL Elite, Fantech Club Sport, Fantech Podium. Many drivers that are still under development, but hey, they work. So, and support for the Logitech Wingman FG and FFG, just in case you didn't have enough Fs in your G. <laughs> Final, Final Fantasy, that. great. A couple of changes to the UI and... um fix some issues that people are having launching over steer from steam. I think that's pretty cool, man. I just, you know, I've said having racing wheels and stuff like that for me, is like right up there with a VR. I get it. It's just not my jam, but apparently this is the, uh, piece of kit that you want. If you're going to, that is the, this. yeah, that is the bit of software that you want to use. If you have one of the Logitech G 29s or G nine twenties, uh, if you want to have more than the, I can't remember what the default is like 200 and something degrees of rotation. If you want to unlook the full 900 degrees of rotation that those engine, uh, those, uh, steering wheels provide, you need this or similar bits of software. So you need something like this and i do like the steering wheels i do i just don't have the room to have one i <laughs> i my, my favorite I part one. of all of this i want one i'm, I'm the I only wanna, one here who has one I, I want to clamp one to this glass desk and see how long i can race before it shatters <laughs> right yeah it, it it still tickles me i'm the only one here who has a racing wheel i hate driving games you, I, had, was, I had one uh it's at my mom's place i think still <laughs> Well, maybe we, maybe we can get some like jack support for your racing wheels, like USB, TCP. May, may, maybe. May, maybe can can we switch an entire show using the racing wheel and the pedals? Uh, uh, there's like yeah. thirteen buttons on it, so probably yeah. 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 <laughs> if you can do it with the steam controller, you can do it with the racing wheel. You can Put that on my off. gravestone. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Coming up next, Cyberpunk Pew Pew Neo Neon Brightness. It's Danger Scavengers throwing chairs at it.
Welcome back to the Cheer Acquisition. This week we're taking a look at Dangerous Scavenger. Man, we have so many games that we've we've thrown chairs at that start with Danger. It took a little bit of time to find it in the games list. Uh, but it's developed by uh, Piotr Walk uh, and Star Drifter is done on the Unity Engine. You can pick it up for about 10 bucks. What is it? Dangerous Scavenger is a fast-paced action cyberpunk-themed roguelike skyline crawler. Take a shot, or several, depending. Uh, blow up, cut, shoot enemy robots on the roof of skyscrapers. Seems pretty legit. The dev sent us some keys over Curator Connect, so thank you, Piotr and Star Drifters. Uh, let's get into it, I guess. Then, how'd you like uh, Pew Pew Neon shoot 'em up? Man, you know I just can't get enough of the Pew Pews, the Neons, and the shoot 'em ups. Over here on Debian, almost 11. It's almost there, baby. AMD Threadripper 1920X, NVIDIA 2060 with 32 gigajoules of RAM. It's kind of hot. Everything worked out of the box, and that's nice to see. It took me a minute to figure out where the option screen was located, because I kind of assumed it. it's one of those games where you got to run around different parts of the um, main screen yep. to get to stuff. The, 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 the diegetic level select yeah. or whatever, yeah. I'm like, oh, wait, escape. Oh, okay, there it is. That's the thing. No controller picks up after the game's launched. I love that, because so many games fail hard right there. Graphics-wise, I'm taking a look. Um, It's not pegging. Pedro's CPU, but then again, you might not have been running it at UHD. At UHD, I was hitting a solid 99% GPU utilization of the little 2060. Pretty neat. And that allowed me to run at you know, plus or minus 470 at 2160 on medium. Still looks good. Now, uh, windowed mode. Hey, happy to see that. And it kind of, sort of captures the cursor in windowed mode. Just not all that well because, you know, the cursor stops, but the gerbil pointer just slides right on out. So, womp, womp. Now, what is it? As Jordan kind of hinted at, man, what we have is bullet hell roguelike twin stick looter shooter RPG, because I don't think I missed anything in the description there. It, I like the art style. Look at it. I mean, that's something positive I can absolutely say about this. But everything else is a giant cup of... I've played this game before. Well, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's something you should be aware of. Because, you know, this is a twin stick pew pew. Collect items and upgrades, go up the tower, fight a boss, the game. That's what you're going to get. You can combine some items in the workshop, but the only thing I dislike more than roguelikes is crafting. So, <laughs> hard sell. Imagine, if you will, like Hades on a budget in future hell, and you basically have danger scavengers. Now, I'm tired of saying this, and I'm no, I just know you're tired of hearing it. Maybe, just maybe, online multiplayer could help things out with us. Could have a little more fun than I did in Forever Alone mode. But, as things stand, I think the team's even aware of the shortcomings. And they priced it accordingly. It's 999 Evil when it does hand stands, so, alright, fair enough. I'm an hour in. I feel like I'm just running around blowing shit up at this point. Which has its appeal, but not, not for long-term replayability. I need more than that. So, yeah, technically, it's a decent game. It, it's got the looks. It's got a decent little soundtrack to it, but not enough to keep me coming back. I'll give it a solid sort of one. Yeah, on um, Fedora 33 64-bit with the i7 6700K and the RX 5700 XT, launches out of the box. Um, I did notice, though, if you're running it at UHD with the open source graphics, I'm using um, I'm using the 5.11 kernel and Mesa 21. The new version's out, but Fedora 33 hasn't updated to that just yet. Um, there's some there's some discoloration in some levels. It fixes itself when you switch the level, but just something to be mindful of. No such luck on uh, Fedora 32 64 bit with the R9 3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti. That all works out of the box. Um, I will say, if you're going to use the Switch Pro controller, the menu gets a little wiggy. Um, I ended a run prematurely because I hit start, and then the controller's like, Did you mean you want to quit the game? And I'm like, No, it's not what I want at all. Um, no, again, no problems with the uh, DualShock 4 controller. Um, yeah, graphically it looks okay. I mean, it's pretty consistent with like budget Unity fare. Uh, it looks it looks fine. There's not I don't have any particular digs against it. Other than after the first couple levels, it seems to get progressively brighter and brighter. And now I have a bit of a tan going. I'm starting to peel. Uh, and soundtrack wise, the oons goes oons, 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 and I mean that's what you can expect for a cyberpunk. Fun wise, I mean it's, it's fun enough. It's a bog standard implementation of a twin stick roguelike. They give you an option if you prefer like a shoot 'em up mode where um, you don't lose everything on death um but you know that 
that's par for the course for people who don't like roguelikes. One thing that really gets my goat, though, is the dodge mechanic. You need to use it in order to beat that first boss, or at least I did. Uh, and just having to charge it really breaks up the flow, especially like, oh, you need to charge it for longer if you want to run longer. It's not, it doesn't go well with like the fast paced twin stick shooting. Um, Beyond that, I mean, you're pr you're really just praying for RNG Jesus to bless you with like six auto fire drones so you can mow your way through most things. Um, and you know, the the I will I will give this game credit. The bad guys are pretty well designed. There's a good number of them. Um, they keep adding new stuff. Uh, it doesn't get boring, and you can clearly tell what's what, uh, which is useful in a twin stick shooter. What it could really use though, as Ven said, some online multiplayer. I don't want to have to play this with a ten year old. I want to play it with people with the mentality of 10 year olds, but with the physical bodies of like 30 year olds, I'm going to give it to <laughs> cheers. <laughs> yeah. Over here on the Horizon speaking 7, of 3,700 X, I'm a massive man child. I don't know what you're talking about uh, the, <laughs> with the GTX 1080. It, uh, yeah, the first launch, it took its sweet time, but the subsequent ones were fine. It doesn't seem to want to get to 144 Hertz. So it just V syncs at half of that at 72, which is if you're looking at the video version, that's what it's currently doing uh, at 2560 by 1440. I can't disable the um, stupidly grainy uh, motion blur without having to cut down the presets. Uh, it's still active on high, so you need to bring it down to like medium. Uh, the um, movement keys, when it came to movements like, oh, was, okay, let me rebind. Why don't you let me rebind that? Seriously, why? Uh, and then, okay, uh, fine, I'll, I guess I'll play with the controller. Went to uh, rebind the keys on the controller. It's like, oh, dodge. Right. I play Dark Souls, so dodge is the B button. I can't assign the B key on the controller. It's not the dodge button. It's the roll off the building button. <laughs> but seriously, fucking why can't I assign the B key on the fucking controller? The fuck? <laughs> but yeah, clearly that to me spells out that you went out of your way to make the controls as limited and limitative as they are for a specific reason what that reason is fuck me if i know but um nintendo well, it, switch <laughs> if you i guess if you stick with the game long enough and i played the game for like over an hour and yes, uh, my brain eventually adjusted to stop fighting with the controls and actually, okay, so dodge is here, fire is here, fine, whatever, I can deal with this. And yeah, it, it's actually a reasonably fun twin stick roguelite shooter. Um, it doesn't hold a candle to assault Android Cactus when it comes to this kind of isometric shooting. Assault Android Cactus was very good. Sorry. Um, but yeah. I do like the looting, and I like the different weapons and the variety of enemies, and the crafting is very, very simplified. You just pick a base item and then pick another item to go with it, and just like, there, you've crafted a thing. Neat. Uh, there's, yeah, there, there's quite a bit of weapon variety, but both the starting shotgun and the Uzi-like SMG, they're very good, so it doesn't really feel like uh, RNG Jesus is holding you by the curly hairs in every single run, like... I don't know, skull. Uh, <laughs> and I like that. I, 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 admittedly, I did like that. And I liked the game a lot, except for the stupid limitation for the controls. It's like, oh, can't rebind the movement keys on the keyboard. Uh, so fuck the keyboard. Uh, can't, re uh, can't set the B key as the roll dodge roll key on the controllers. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I can't forgive that. No, two chairs. What do you? I got. I got a question for both of you. Uh, uh, Pedro, did you use the controller at all, or just keyboard? I did. I used all three of them. Uh, the so, if you so, one uh, and the Playstations. So, what do you think about the game's choice of using bumper for shoot instead of trigger? Because I thought that was weird. I was that was stupid, and that's Creed's got that got rebound. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was, it, that was immediately what I was thinking of, though. It's like, oh, this is like Assassin's Creed. I got to do that thing. It's kind of dumb, but mm -hmm. okay. Then mm, I remembered, yeah. oh, right, I have an Xbox S One XXS controller, and they have defective <laughs> right bumpers if you don't use them, so let's not do that. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, no, I, I immediately rebound the uh, the shooting to the left trigger. It's like, okay, now I can play the game. 
I can't mm. dodge with B, but at least I can shoot properly. Is it, <laughs> is it fair to say for like action, like shooting and stuff like that? Like who uses bumper buttons? Seriously. Yeah, people you who should, hate you should, themselves? Usually bumpers <laughs> like grenade or something that you hit. How many bumper buttons yeah. does the switch have? Uh regular amount. Two. Two. Two, yeah, one yeah. on each side. <laughs> yeah, it was it was the triggers that Nintendo didn't have a lot of for a while. Then this makes sense because this is on the switch. They didn't have hop. So I think they just left it with like default. I I don't I don't know, because like the switch is pretty standard control layout. I don't know. Either way. <laughs> Uh, check check it out if you have some people to play with. Otherwise, you may be having quite a bit of lonely unfun. I think. Mm. We, we, we got anything else we want to say about this? I'm good. No. All right. Coming up next, we had a lot of Patreon support this week, but not a lot of hate mail. So Aww. get ready to dig into some maps. And if that was your game, which just threw chairs at, I'm not sorry. <laughs> Go back and fix whatever it is that you did with the controls. But hey, if that's not your game and you actually enjoyed what you saw, but you have a game coming up, I'm sorry. Uh, but if you'd like us to maybe play around with it, well, you can send us three keys. If you just send us the one, I'm just going to send you an email back saying thanks, but uh, we do need three. So my you favorite, can get ahead my, of the my, game. My favorite thing to do is to send it back with like, uh, feel free to give that to the next uh, reviewer content. It's not going to be no use to us. And uh, <laughs> I, I'm very, very cordial and polite about it and make sure I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, okay, we're going to need three. If you can't send us three, thank you, but we're not. Oh, I, I make sure that I let them know that I'm giving that one back. <laughs> like I'm not even going to bother redeeming it. So <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it's just not going to get redeemed. If you if, Same thing with the Curator Connect keys. If you send us keys over Curator Connect, that's awesome. Make sure you send three, because if you just send the one, it's just going to be there until it eventually expires. I can do that too, Jordan. You're not special. <laughs> I'm very special, <laughs> but yeah, for are, different yeah. reasons. So how can they do that? Do we have a contact page? We do, actually, if you go to LinuxGameCast. Send us a raven. You can also send us a raven. Good luck with that. But uh, LinuxGameCast.com, you hit the contact button. There's a form. All of the um, caveats uh, are listed at the top of the uh, the thing. So read those or give it a cursory glance and pretend like you read them like everyone else does. And then uh, best of luck with the rest of the contact form. <laughs> hey, you guys, I saw some words in the contact page, but don't worry, I powered through it. Um, <laughs> I don't no, think no, they apply to me. Base. Here's a link. <laughs> Here's a I just link look for that... submit form. I, I just fill out HTML forms and look for submits. That's go. what I. That's all I do. Send so, so us some email <laughs> complaining that it's not le- allowing you to send links. Yeah. True story. This happened. Okay. Send us an email with some sausage links. <laughs> so Freejack writes in this week talking about keys and maps. He's like, hey, man. If you've not covered this, which I'm guessing we haven't since it's in the show notes, uh, it should be of great interest to the entire gaming community. It works with devices I did not think it would, especially those that are Windows only one handed gaming keyboards. One handed game? Okay, I didn't even know that. Was yeah, like the, like like the Razer game gaming, yeah. <laughs> oh, the fancy numpads. That thing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. To continue on, I have tested a few lately, and this actually works with them and works as if it was written for them. Key Mapper needs some attention, and with some help, could become the gaming standard for controllers and keyboards for gaming. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Apparently, it has uh, support for X11, Wayland, and a bunch of stuff. So uh, th- that's a good future-proof solution for stuff like this. Uh, man, Wayland, need to... it's no, it's no. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's like the pipe wire stuff, right? La, like, la, no, la, no. la, 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 <laughs> uh, no, la. No, no, no one's using it. <laughs> effectively you could use it to remap everything not just uh game controllers or the uh like that abomination that mir just posted on discord the <laughs> oh good lord uh the Ra- razor razor naga trinity sounds like something like some hippie that just started growing weed named his first plant and come on <laughs> Uh, Sooners are way less creative than that. The uh, Razor Too Naga series is, uh, it, it's been around for a while. But yeah, you can rebind game controllers, uh, those game pads, mouse, keyboards, 
You can effectively bind any key to anything that you'd like. It that in that respect, very nice. Very, can can you do nice. it with regular keyboards and just like ruin your friend's day? Like so okay. Probably. <laughs> do you I, I've seen the little keyboards like that. I there's not been a game I could justify having anything that dedicated for is I like, know I know people who play lots of WoW. Like if you have like really complex like sequences, you got to key in. <laughs> yeah, ha- ha- having stuff like that is useful. Mm-hmm. Saves you saves you five minutes or whatever. Um, I th- I'm sure there's like other strategy games and stuff that take advantage of it, but I never personally found them too appealing. Okay. It's just more shit, right? Like, but some people some people like that. Uh, that's, that's the gym. Yeah, let us know if you use one of these. And hey, if you have yeah. had one t- sitting t- in a closet, and you're like, oh, okay, all this is yeah. going to be in our show notes. There'll be a link uh, to Key Mapper. And I guess that's the thing. Now, do they make these with like integrated like trackballs? I wouldn't be surprised if they existed, um, but I can't think of one. Off <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the only thing I don't get is those people that buy the dedicated touchpads and they just use a touchpad instead of a mouse it's like oh yeah you want that rsi that you get from a yes. laptop on your desktop you can so, have yeah. it C- couldn't you just like, get like one of those uh, wired together split keyboards and pretend <laughs> just close your eyes you, uh, while you're playing good yeah <laughs> you never know no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all, all, all you're saying this and using just a regular mouse instead of one of those like grabby mice like this the the vertical oh mice. the vertical mice oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that 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 is just you don't want that when you're angry because that goes through yeah, desk, right that's yeah. Like, that, yeah that, that, that is reinforced that fits too well in your hand but uh. right <laughs> all right beautiful people i think we gotta bounce out of here and roll some credits and thanks people but on that bombshell, we always got to cue the music. You can always find us around 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time. Uh, just head over to Twitch, tap that schedule button, fam. Come join us live. Come say hi. Say disparaging remarks. Just about Pedro and Pedro only. Yeah. Or about Van's mother. I don't know. <laughs> she will cut you. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, I'm just at Vin Stone on Twitter. Um, or uh, at Vin at mass.linuxgamecast.com and... Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm in Discord all the time, so that's the thing. I'm Jordan Svung, much like a vertical mouse. You can grab me and slam me. You can find me at the Burning Fool on Twitter or twitch.tv slash Burning Fool streaming stuff. I gotta get like a Ben's Mom fan club shirt for next week. I just created Wonder- a <laughs> twitch.tv forward slash Burning Fool streaming stuff, so. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> uh, I thought you were going to say I just created twitch.tv forward slash Ven's mom. <laughs> say it again. That, that was a bit long. I she, get it all she, she's, she's already streaming, man. She has better viewership than we do. Yeah, that, that doesn't surprise me. I, on the other hand, am Peter Mateos. She's probably got more Twitter followers than I do, but it's at an accounted for if you'd like to even the, the, the count a little bit. Just maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. My mom still uses IRC, so I don't know. <laughs> Hardcore. We gotta roll some credits. <laughs> bye bye. A booty too terrible to comprehend, maybe. I don't know. I think that's like it's the old the- credits. Hang on. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're about to find out. Boop. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, we got to think. Uh, yeah, we think our, there yeah, we go. Oh, man. Uh, number 49. <laughs> ha. I swear to Godzilla, you better uh, you better get it right this time. I got it right this time. <laughs> all right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, wait, we got to think. Wait, hang on. <laughs> we gotta, just got to get into the weekly daily Wednesday credits, because why the fuck not? It's episode CDL. Episode CD. Yeah, it's, they make they deliver desktops. We gotta thank our new advisor, Omega, our executive producers, Aldius, Bar Brent, Scott Michaud, Mr. Fox Dog, out there, and the Tomcast, Mike Gee, uh, Michael T. Han, Drummer Seven, and our lone little Nicky fan, Dark Wing. Someone, someone, please keep him company. He's so lonely and cold. <laughs> Maybe one of the sea monsters wants to kick it back up 
Jack B, Renault, Ryder X Machina, Trudgy, uh, Veritanuda, Justin or Frostclaw, hmm? maybe? Hmm? We got those hmm? super awesome death notes. <laughs> Nova K, Basil B, Chad, Romero, V, Marcin, System T, Craig H, Renee, Leonardo, Dak, Kim, Smashley, Chris, Steven, Jill, and Benjamin. Ooh. And of course, all the chair links like Jason, Das Geek, Paula, Greg L, Mr. North Ranger, S. Michelle, um, Mr. Amish, Mr. Amish, Mr. Scott, Ryan T. G., Ross, Daniel L., L. Um, Thomas D., <laughs> Frazzo, AJ, <laughs> Lutris. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, gotta, gotta thank AJ, our new patron, as well as Omegas, yes. our new advisor. So, yeah. Where's the next week? Five dudes.